are using live streams to entertain viewers while making sales in real time. It's called retail digitainment and the $20 billion industry is booming. It's taken the web by storm and as Cheryl Lynn finds out in this week's Spotlight, Singapore is no exception. And I have size, so I wear this one, you see a big loose, so those like maybe 56, because my waist is 56, so if you are below 56, definitely you can wear it. 31-year-old Selena Doe sells clothes by live streaming on Facebook at least four times a week. She set up the business with just a phone and a tripod after quitting her job at a German firm to spend more time with her child. Three months in, she's raking in 20% more than her previous full-time salary. She pins her success on the rapport she's built with customers. I can see regular customer, existing customer that coming back to me every time. Like, like when I'm not around, I never on live for a few days, they will text me, where have you been, where are you, why don't you do live and cutting? So I have a lot of friends now, which is my customer. And you know, not only they're talking to me, they're talking to each other. That real-time two-way interaction is a core appeal of a thriving trend known as retail digitainment. Digitainment is what you get as a mashup of digital and entertainment. It refers to content created by live streamers who interact with their audiences while selling their product in an engaging way. So while on air, they could be bantering with their co-hosts, they could be playing games or just cracking jokes and having fun online. And it's not just a cheap way for mom and pop retailers to get an audience. Large companies are jumping on the bandwagon too, like global gaming-related company Razer. The whole movement towards social shopping online is becoming more and more popular, and we kind of see live streaming as the natural next step to engage with the audience, right? Where they can ask questions directly while we're engaging with them online um, and don't have to wait for a lengthy response. Um, and basically, they can then make their purchase decision. Razer says live streams are particularly useful for technical products like theirs. They also inject entertainment via the host's personalities or gamification through quizzes and giveaways. Uh, congratulations. They're taking a leaf from sellers overseas where the trend began. Globally, the retail digitainment industry is valued at over $20 billion and it's perhaps the most advanced in China, where there are over 200 live streaming sites and more than 200 million users and growing. Now compared to that, observers say that Singapore's fledgling market is still playing catch-up. It's just starting out. The Chinese journey itself is basically only five years old. There are a certain level of uncertainties that uh, consumers have and uh, the retailers have. It's like, is it consistent with my brand? Is it consistent with my product category? But there's reason to be optimistic about the industry's growth here, especially according to e-commerce giant Shopee, which launched a live streaming feature for sellers in June. We have uh, seen steady increase of adoption by our sellers. We have about seven times of increase in terms of viewership compared to when we first launched. And in terms of engagement, every single uh, stream, we are seeing about three times increase. Local institutions are also betting big on its future. Nanyang Polytechnic's Singapore Institute of Retail Studies and the Singapore Media Academy have crafted specific programs and certifications for those looking to get into the industry. Singapore, uh, we have now the infrastructure. We've also got uh, high connectivity. We're going to have 5G networks. We've also got uh, the cloud infrastructure to host a lot of videos. And so I think we are really kind of on uh, the cusp of live streaming becoming really big in Singapore. They'll teach technical skills like lighting and software ones like storytelling. What differentiates one live streamer from the other is really how well he or she can tell the product story or why you know, his or her value proposition is stronger than you know, the next live streamer. And so storytelling is really a critical skill set. But just because a retailer can go live doesn't mean it should. For one, experts say the tool won't fly for brands trying to portray themselves as premium. In addition, not everyone has the gift of the gap. Live streams must also consistently bring novelty, which can be hard to sustain in the long run. Small-time sellers know that struggle well. For a live streamer, we cannot every day showing the same design. Well, every day you have to add in at least five new designs. 
And above all, observers say brands must remember this. The bigger thing is not to assume that uh, live streaming can replace the fundamentals. The fundamentals about the appropriate price point, um, the right kind of product assortment, uh, the product quality. Hi, how are you? Ultimately, pundits say retail digitainment has irrevocably transformed e-commerce in China. Though it's still finding its footing here, it could do the same. This will continue to be more and more popular. Yeah, I like life with you guys. As sellers actually get more mature in terms of learning how to operate efficiently and uh, create engaging content to our buyers. It will be the new norm in a region that is uh, home to 350 million people. Mobile penetration rates are going to increase over the next decade. So really, you want to be at the forefront of all of this. And imagine how great that would be for Singapore retailers and like Singapore brands in general. Digitainment, they say, will stick around. And for the hundreds of small-time retailers like Mrs. Doe, the good news is that they're ahead of the curve. Thank <laughs> you.